Hey guys, Corey here again. Um, today we're going to be talking about a big topic that means a lot to me because it's on my nerves a lot, right? So we're talking about part, part of the honor code and mainly focused on beards. So um, beards should not be an honor code violation. Um, I think it's kind of ridiculous that it is. You know, I understand like the, uh, you know, doing it so that then whenever you're out in the real world, you can, uh, you, you're, you're just used to shaving. And I know that it's a school where mission, missionaries, um, you know, come to and, you know, they shave. So it's just kind of like keeping those standards or whenever they're going to leave during a missionary, you know, just they're used to shaving. But it's just one of those things where it, I just feel like it should not be an article about it. I want to go over why because it's just, it's kind of ridiculous, right? So, um... Number one, you know, beards are a sign of mas masculinity, right? So when you are walking down the street or you're at school or, or wherever and you see someone with a beard, you immediately think what? You immediately think he's a man. He's a grown man. He's, you know, he's a man, right? You don't think, you don't think woman. You don't think, oh, that's a girl. You know, you think man because it's just a sign of, of masculinity. Right now, see, we right now have a little bit of scruff. That would be an honor code violation, right? So it's kind of like, geez, man, like, this isn't even bad, but like, you know, it just, it just shows that we're masculine, right? You know, some of the, some of the most, you know, Abraham Lincoln had a big beard, right? He was our president. He was a great president, right? Abraham Lincoln. Um, I can't think of any other off the top of my head right now, but there are plenty others. Uh, I know, Frederick Douglass had a had a huge, great, great big beard, right? And I feel like it kind of gives them a little bit of power. Not power, but when you when you don't have a beard or facial hair on your face, I feel like you are looked at as more of a um, apprentice, I guess you could say, or you are more you are looking up to someone because you are shaving maybe to kind of impress them or something. You know what I mean? I feel like if you have a beard. You're at a stage where you are you are a man. You are at the top, and you know the beard is just it is just a sign of, of your of your power, right? So that's just another thing. Um, and number two, kind of going off of number one, but um, you know, beards are meant to be grown on women. You know, there was a reason why God, you know, the creator of our earth and creator of everything. There's a reason why he he had facial hair grow on. Um, men and I know that you know women they get a little here or something or like and they you know you could say oh they, they get a little bit no but it's men you know it's meant for them to have facial hair you know that's what that's what Jesus he had he had um he had a beard for for um, and many pictures and you know many descriptions of of him he had a beard you know and it's like that's because that's what men are supposed to grow beard they're supposed to grow, grow facial hair right so for the for the people who made the honor code i know it wasn't i know it's not a you know religious tied thing i know it was like from what i've heard from the students um you know back in the day they made an honor code right and i'm i'm not i'm i'm all for the honor code because i feel like it makes the school you know just a better place and it makes it more I guess you could say prestigious, not prestigious, but it just makes it a better quality university. But the facial hair is just kind of a little bit, ugh, like a little bit out there, right? So the number three, and I think this is the biggest, you know, reason I would say, and a lot of people argue, is that Brigham Young, who this school is basically, I guess, um, you know, named after, BYU Brigham Young University, um, had a beard in all of his pictures, you know, and his sculpt in his statue on campus, he has a beard. So it's just, you know, there's this huge figure that, um, you know, many Mormons look up to. And there are many Mormons at this school, 99% of the school is Mormon. And you see this, you know, figure that in this, this person that everyone looks up to who has a great big beard. And now you're going to make the honor code that you can't have beards. That just, I feel like it's very contradicting. It's like, what? That just doesn't make any sense, you know? The, the, the face of the university um, has a huge beard, and it's like, you're going you're gonna to say that we can't have beards? You know, it's just a little bit like, ah, come on, a little bit strange, you know? And it's just, 
it's just uh, kind of frustrating when you have to go take a test and you like have a little bit of screw up and you have to go shave, you know. So it's just, uh, I feel like, I feel like that's that's one part of the auto code that's just a little bit harsh. And it's there's other there's like signs that show that there's no reason why you shouldn't, right? So then to follow all this up, it's just like you know, there's many other um, many other important people in the Book of Mormon, um, in many figures that, you know, people look up to, or the, the, the uh, Mormons look up to, that have beards, you know, and it just, I, I, like, like I said before, I think it shows, you know, your power in the, uh, in your, wherever you're at, you know, your, your group, um, I feel like it shows, um, you know, obviously it shows your masculinity, um, and it just shows that you're a man. You are a man. If you have a beard, you are a man. You know, I'm not saying that, oh, they're just more manly, but I'm saying you're a man. You have a beard, you know, you see, you could you could have a guy with some long hair, no beard, um, um, and a girl with, you know, same long hair, and you could, you could just kind of spin them around real fast, you know, you don't, you don't see anything, you just, you just see the long hair, and you would think, oh, you know, that could be a girl. Now you throw a beer on him with the long hair and like you know he kind of looks whatever. You spin around, you're like, oh, he has a big you know James Harden looking beard. That's a man. You know it's just the beard it just shows that you're a man. You know what I mean? And I feel like I, I, it would it would be it would not, it would be nothing to the campus, nothing to the students here, and it would not it would it would be no harm. You know, and I just feel like it, that's one part of the honor code that they should um, you know change or fix up. But thank you for your time.